What is going on guys, it's Armada, and today we finally got Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies. Now before I actually start this video, I just want to let you guys know that if I do make unnecessary turns or twists or anything like that, that's just because this is my first time playing the map, and I'm still getting used to actual things in the map, so just bear with me. But today's video is going to be on unlocking the power and turning on Pack-a-Punch in the new map, the final Reich in Call of Duty World were two zombies. With that being said, let's get started. Now as soon as you spawn in, you're probably already thinking of how am I going to turn on the power. Well if that's the case, then you're in luck because the power is actually not very hard to turn on. Once you bought the first door, you will arrive at the village center. Basically, what we're trying to do is fill up this generator with gas and then blow it up so then we can access through the well. So there's three different pumps around this area of the map. And if you don't know where they are, just follow the cables like I'm doing in the gameplay and then find the pump and then hold square on it. This might take about like five seconds to actually complete not really, it probably takes like 10. But if you have a friend, make sure he's holding back the zombies because this can take a little bit. And if the zombies hit you, then your character just stops doing it. So again, if you don't know where the pumps are, just follow the wires and then you'll find the wheel and then keep spinning that as long as you can. And once you do finish it, it'll glow green, letting you know that you have successfully pumped up that gas pump thing. There's two in the same place, and there's one actually in a place where you have to buy the doors, which I'm still showing you the locations, but yes, hold square on that one. And once you have successfully turned all three of the green lights on, and the generator has three growing green lights, you're ready to move on to the next step. I recommend buying a gun like this one over here, just because it's super cheap and it's not really that bad. So I recommend buying a gun before doing this step. Hold square on this thing and you'll see that it blows up and bursts to flames and a couple pest zombies come out. And like I said, you should have a better gun to kill these guys with. Try clearing out the zombies as soon as possible. Then once you do, jump inside the hole and you'll make it to this burnt area. Walk through this arch area and as you're walking up, you'll see another generator. Press square and then you will activate it. And boom, you already turned on power for the map. Now there is another power for this map, but it's actually for a little Easter egg step and I didn't feel like it's necessary for this guide, but I will be making a guide on that, so don't worry. The next thing we're gonna be moving on to is actually Pack-a-Punch. Now Pack-a-Punch isn't very hard to get to. First, you just need to go turn on power which we already explained. Buy a couple doors and you'll make it to this sewer area. Now you'll see that it's full of blood and in the center of the room you'll see that there is a metal cage full of spikes and inside of it is our pack-a-punch. Now obviously we can't go inside the pack-a-punch like that so we're gonna have to lift up that gate. By this wall by there will be this little button right here. Press this button and the cage will kind of lift up a little bit, but it's not actually enough, so we're gonna have to do this three-step thing. The first step to lifting the gate for Pack-a-Punch is actually going through this little tunnel area thingy where you just slide through, and the, and the way you find that is by going through these areas. Now, I'm gonna speed up the gameplay, and I'm gonna show you guys where it actually is. So as we're making our way through these little corridors, there's a lot of blood in this game, by the way. I mean, what did you expect? It's it's zombies. Just make sure you guys keep up. I'm not gonna make it too fast. Um, I hope I'm not making it too fast. But yeah, once you do make it to the area, you'll see this little hole right here. It'll cost 250 points, but once you do make it back to the sewer area full of blood, find the button again and press it. The gate will then lift up a little more and we're just gonna have to find two more. The next one we're gonna be doing is actually this one in the tower. So go by this third pump we did when we were unlocking power and buy a couple doors. I already bought them so well. I don't need to buy them again, but just go through the bridge and make it through the tower with, you know, with a crash truck and a lot of smoke. But make it through there and you'll see another pipeline. Again, it costs 250 points. Press it, press square, and then you will travel through and make it back to the sewer area. Find the button again and press it. The room will then glow red with this red mist 
and a bunch of pest zombies will come. Now this doesn't happen all the time, but it happened in my game and if this happens to you for the final step, it's totally normal. Just take out the pest zombies and you should be okay. The gate will lift up as normally and we are ready for our final step. We're gonna have to find our last pipeline and the last one is in the laboratory. And I'm actually going to this area of the map right here and by this door right here and just keep running and running i hope you guys find i hope you guys actually know where i'm going keep following in my footsteps and stuff and by this electricity trap made of metal like we saw in the trailer you'll see another pipeline it costs 250 points like always and make it back to the sewer again find the button and this is the last one press the button and then press the button and then you have successfully turned on the power and unlocked pack-a-punch now for the rest of the gameplay i'm going to just be showing you pack-a-punch and how it looks like the pack-a-punch and the camo of it so i actually really enjoy the pack a bunch camo i also enjoy the pack a bunch machine i like how they changed that it looks really cool and the way it's actually getting pack a bunch now i don't think this pack a bunch is very hard so so far my impressions of the map are really really good i love this map it's very fun so yeah having pack a bunch is very useful in this map especially if you're doing the easter eggs or getting the tesla weapons but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe because it lets me know you guys enjoy this type of content. For more World War II information, I have a whole playlist on guides and stuff like that. I also have a Tesla weapon guide, which is, if you're watching this, it's probably not out or it is. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the eye little corner of the screen so you can just click that. And if you guys want to follow me in any social media, feel free it's in the link down in the description below like twitter instagram twitch and all that stuff so thank you guys for watching for more guys stay on my channel because it's coming and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in your in your closet bye